Always say your prayers. Why you keep stealing my shit? Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. On the menu today, we have sushi. I was craving sushi so bad. So I ordered this off DoorDash from a local sushi bar around my house. And we're back home, you guys. Oh, there's no place like home. There really isn't no place like home. So I ordered um, three sushi rolls. I don't know, you guys, what kind of rolls I ordered. Never do. Um, Singapore noodles right here. They got chicken and shrimp, peppers, and oh my God, so delicious. We have two different kind of, or three different kind of sushi rolls. Um, steam fried rice. We have, these are mussels right here that have um, crab. Oh, sorry, crab, avocado, onion. We have, oh my God, I've never tried this before. That, that raw <clears throat> sashimi. I think that's what they call it. Yeah, you guys see it right there. I've never had it raw like that in my entire life. So, of course, little slivers on sushi rolls, but I've never had it <clears throat> like a thick cut like that. Then we got ginger, and up there we got huge avocado rolls um, to die for. We have crab rangoon. Right here we have vegetable tempura. Vegetable tempura with spring rolls, and we have... This is soft shelled crab. So, vegetable tempura, soft shelled crab, spring rolls, and dips. That's what's right there. Then we just have a regular um, garden salad with my favorite ranch. And soy sauce with a shitload of wasabi. I'm gonna be crying in a minute. And we have um, seaweed salad down there. And lemon wedges. And we got some soup. I don't know what kind of soup this is. We got sweet and sour sauce down here. <clears throat> and we got the coldest water bottle, you guys. My description box below, the links will be there for you if you would like one. They give one away free once a week or you can buy your own with 10% off if you use the code word coldest yeah, and I have a, a serving fork here so the sushi place actually gave me this garden salad and I put it in my own, my own bowl but it came with like a vinaigrette and I put the vinaigrette in it with <laughs> my favorite ranch I mixed them doing how is everyone mm. it'll be on good my husband's playing his game and it's it's a little loud I'm sorry I apologize but he's been a, um, a really stressed lately so I'm not gonna Tell him to turn it down. Sorry. Mm. I've been craving sushi. <clears throat> also, if you ladies would like a little tea time with Sim, make a little ultralight. Stay tuned after this mukbang, and it'll be at the end of this video. Mm.
Mhm. I've had so much going on lately. Oh my god. Yep. <clears throat> Haven't uploaded. Um, the number one thing that I have going on in my life since, you know, my last video. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> My last video I did was in San Antonio. Um, shortly after that video, you guys, my firstborn son had his first child. Oh, and so, a healthy, beautiful baby boy. So shout out to my oldest son, Michael, and his beautiful wife, Diana, and their precious new beautiful addition, Arthur. <clears throat> my son named him Arthur. Or... And Diana did. Or maybe they both did. I don't know. I think it was my son, though. But I was like, um, what's his name? He goes, um, his name's going to be Arthur. And I was like, wow, that's a really different, really strong name. I love it. Mmm. So, <clears throat> my oldest son, his middle name is Jason, Michael Jason. So he named his son Arthur Jason. I just think that's a very strong, very different name and I love it. So shout out to my son and his beautiful wife and their beautiful baby. I'm grandma number two, guys. They made me grandma number two. <laughs> hmm. Grandma times two. Our granddaughter, you guys, she's been on my channel, Kinsley. Oh my God, she's so cute. And now I have a grandson. Yeah, I'm old as fuck, okay? It's okay. It just means I'm more wise. Mm. the vinaigrette mixed with the ranch is beyond delicious and that's why it kind of looks like soup mm -hmm. my daughter-in-law gave birth to her first child with her husband by her side, my son, with natural. She did it all natural. It was really, truly amazing. Natural. Wow. Stronger than me. I was like, I wasn't ever screaming or like out of control, but I was like, give me that epidural now. I was like turning into Satan. <laughs> but I never screamed or anything. And I never cried. I was just pissed. All gone, guys. Sal's all gone. I wanted to get that out of the way and I didn't want it to get like really soggy and nasty, so. Now we have room for sweet and sour sauce. Where do I start? You guys, this food is amazing. Mm. Okay. I can't ever use these um, assholes. But I always want to try, so. Oh. It has purp it has purple stuff, orange stuff, and green stuff. <laughs> oh my god. You can't see the oh yeah, you can. Here. Whatever. 
so in there. Mm. They're so good. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's so freaking good. I could slap somebody right now, it's so good. And I don't know what these are, but they have little cucumber sticks in them. Mm. I can't do the chopsticks, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna frustrate everybody, so I'm just gonna use my hands. So, the little, um, I think that's celery sticking out, yeah. I'm gonna use my hands and a fork. So here's a lump, a uh, soft shell crab. I don't know about this. I think I've had it one time before, but I can't remember. But I don't think I liked it. So, I don't know, I'm scared. Yeah. There it goes, it has some kind of sauce on it. Do I dip it in anything? Oh. Am I eating like the, the everything on it? Is that, is that what this is? This is the California roll. It has avocado, crab, and cucumber. Mm, mm, mm. I can't dip it in there enough, so I'm sorry I can't use these. Oh, that one was spicy. Mmm. roll mm-hmm get out of here when we got home you guys there was like a ton of fruit flies in our house we've never had fruit flies it was so weird there was like a million of them and that's what just Flew by just now. Mm. Mm. That's really so good. Mm. I'm gonna put a little Tabasco on this. Yes. Mm. Mm. Oh, I had to pass go. I put too much, but damn, that was good. Pretty shell too. Mm-hmm. I'm going for another one of those. Yeah. Whew. It's hot. See that with the little fish eggs and the crab. Mm. Turn a little bit. 
this time. That was too much. Oh my god those are so delicious Whew. it has spicy uh like spicy it has like spicy mayo on it or something do you see that mm -hmm. mm. That was, <laughs> I can't even tell you how good that was. So hungry. Okay, how do I eat this stuff? I'm guessing in here, right? Mmm. That is very, very, very good. Mm. Mm. I'll put some lemon juice on that. Sashimi. Mm. That's fabulous. That's really, really, really good. Go this. Whew. I was getting so spicy. You know what? I'm done with you. I can't do it. I cannot do it. See how pretty? See how pretty? There's like purple. Maybe that's cabbage. I don't know. Yep. My stomach likes to talk to you guys.
Mm. Let's try these Singapore. Mm. There's a big fat shrimp right there. See the shrimp on top? Mmm. Oh, that's spicy. It's like a curry. I've had these before. But it is a curry flavor on these. A spicy curry flavor. It's really good. Chicken. I'm not talking very much in this video. Because I'm waiting. I'm saving my breath for the end of this video. <laughs> I don't want to wear myself out. Mm. Mm. So quarantine is about to be lifted. <clears throat> oh. Thank God. These are good, but I forgot they're spicy, but they're really good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I gotta tell you guys when we've been ordering at like oh this is a green bean DoorDash and like Grubhub really spicy the dudes or, or the women will like walk up I'm not kidding you they're in like a full body armor and a huge mask over their face Mm. <laughs> Not this time, but the time before we ordered this, we ordered something. What did we order? I don't remember. Oh, it was Jason's Deli. Uh, my husband was craving like a, a dipped sandwich and soup. So <laughs> we ordered Jason's Deli and my husband answered the door and the dude literally like my husband reached out to grab the sack from him and he literally like tossed it he didn't want to touch my husband he didn't want to come close to him he just kind of like tossed it at him and walked away <laughs> he's like wow i said what he goes he just basically threw my food at me and i was excuse me i was laughing so hard he goes i understand people don't want to get next to people but gee <laughs> left my food at the door oh, so funny mmm no oh, really good so since we've been back from San Antonio mmm we have to be in two weeks quarantine to see if, you know, while we were in San Antonio, if we got sick. So my husband's off for the next two weeks. And if um, after two weeks we are still healthy and good, then he goes back to work.
I'm not talking very much because I'm really hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Onion ring. We're just supposed to dip this in. All right, it's time for an avocado roll. These things are huge. Mmm. This is a fried avocado. Yeah, it's a deep, uh, deep fried avocado, and they are so good. I've had these on my channel before too. Mhm. Mm Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I'm like already getting full. What's wrong with you? I think it's when I eat really... <sighs> when I fast and then I eat and I eat fast. It like for some reason makes me really full. We got so much food going up in here. But hell no. I'm not full. I'm talking myself out of it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. The alcohol. I'm kind of low energy, you guys. I'm sorry. I am so tired and a lot of stress lately. Um, so, yeah. Our trip to San Antonio was so fun because it was just me and my husband. Um, it was kind of like a, you know, honeymoon stage because, <laughs> you know, we really didn't have a honeymoon. So it was really nice, but it was highly, very stressful because a lot of things happened while we were there. While we were there, the C word was going around rampant, like really bad. So it was very scary. And plus people there were not obeying the rules. They were not staying in quarantine. They were not staying indoors. There was a million people walking around everywhere. It was just like so frustrating. Um, yeah, so it was like just to leave our um, our hotel room was like, you know, you're, you're on high alert. Like people are walking and you're like, <laughs> excuse me. Hello. We wore, me and my husband wore masks everywhere. And they made it mandatory, actually. So, yeah. We, couldn't, we could not go anywhere in San Antonio without a mask. Of course, we were on a base, you know, on the military base um, hotel. So, I'm sure out in the general public, it wasn't like that. Well... They had signs, um, 
you will not be welcome in this establishment, which were grocery stores, corner stores, 7-Elevens, anything like that, um, without a mask. It was crazy. <clears throat> and if you were just walking on base, you had to have a mask on. Yeah. And then we had to get used to the time change because it was a time change for us. And then we had to switch over from up all day, sleep all night like normal people to the other way around because he worked the graveyard shift. It was just very hard and very lonely. <laughs> yeah. Then, um, of course, you know, that happened to Chris. And then... Mm. Mm. My son has his baby. Mm -hmm. And the last couple of days that we were there, uh, my mom met us back up in San Antonio to drop off my daughter Mia with me. Because unfortunately, we're going back to San Antonio. Oh my God. They're sending us back there. Can you believe that? So we're quarantined here for two weeks. And then, um, yeah, May 1st, they are uh, sending him back. Oh my God. So my kids are still in Fort Worth with my mom and dad because there's no point in bringing them back here. Quarantine for two weeks just to go right back where they started. So I left him there, but Mia is with us because she had to see her boyfriend. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> so cute, young love is so cute. She was having my jaws. So my poor mother, I can't even talk. Bless you, mom, mama sauce. She's so awesome. She'll do anything for anybody. She drove the four and a half hours just to drop me off with, with me and my husband just for two nights to turn around and come back here. And then two weeks from now, we go back to San Antonio. My mom's going back up to San Antonio to get Mia to bring her back to Fort Worth. Now she's coming back to San Antonio with all of the kids after another two weeks of us being there and then we're finally done. Mm. I know people either tell us but I do not. Hell no. Mm -mm. And I got some tail in my mouth. Wow, I am I am so full so I'm funny. The fuck? Freaking idiot. <clears throat> I'm so full so I'm funny. Then when we came home, 
was time change again, and then we had to get used to regular sleeping schedules. So it's been very, very exhausting. Very hard, very tough, very tiring. Oh my God. Oh. I'm gonna upload this video and I'm gonna freaking go to bed. That's how freaking tired I am. <laughs> and go watch Disney Plus because I just I just got it. Um, yesterday my husband was like, "Hey, I know you love like Disney movies and stuff." He's like, "Don't you want to get Disney Plus?" I'm like, "Yes, yes, yes." <laughs> He goes, well, why don't you say so? <laughs> it's been available forever. I was like, oh my God. So yesterday he downloaded it for me. Or not downloaded it. We bought it. I was literally laying in bed. Watching movie after movie. After movie. Obsessed with Disney Plus. I freaking love it. And then my husband was like, oh my god, there's there's so many uh, awesome Marvel movies on here. I said, hell yeah. I like the Disney movies like Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Lion King, uh, Tangled, um, Frozen. Those are the ones I've watched so far. <laughs> mm-hmm. I didn't even try my seaweed salad yet. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. See, I look, I'm, see how tired I look? I'm just like, I'm done. I'm trying to take off this lipstick. It's not coming off. Um, yeah. So, look, let's go in a Now, after this mukbang, you guys, um, if you want to stick around for some very important things I have to say, you can too. You can or you, or you don't have to. This video is in your control, not mine. This is tuna. But... Mm-mm. I don't like that tuna. Ooh, it, it's spicy tuna. That's what it is. Oh my god. Whew. Whew. I am going to go lay down after I eat this. Whew. The spicy tuna roll is very hot. And I'll probably be like uh, three hours later. And then I'll come back and have some beers with you guys and do a little tea time. <laughs> there ain't no one hell. I can do it right after this. But it's going to look like that way to you guys. 
because I'm magic. Mm. Oh my god. I don't know if I can do it. I tried everything, right? Yeah. Um. My back's itching. Oh no, I didn't try these thingies. What the hell is this? It feels like it's soggy bread. Oh no. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's good. It's sweet. Oh my god. He's busy in there. <laughs> this roll right here, I don't know what it is, but it has that crunchy stuff on top. Mmm. Mmm. That's the <sighs> I don't know what came over me. I'm just so freaking tired. This food was beyond delicious. I'm sorry, it's a very, bo uh, very boring, <laughs> very boring mukbang. But hey, I was hungry and I just wanted to eat, okay? But trust me, I have a lot to say. And you shall hear it too. Do all the ones who want to hear it. Okay, but I am ending this mukbang right here because I am, my stomach's so hard, I'm at capacity. So yeah, everything was absolutely freaking delicious. And there's so much left over, you guys. Look at this. The vegetable tempura with the shrimp, the soft shell crab, spring rolls, Singapore noodles, egg, ro egg rolls, avocado, deep fried avocado rolls. Yeah, I still got sushi, but I'm tapped. I have to go rest my food and clean all this up, put the food up, unless my husband or daughter wants it. And then I will come back and I will see you guys in a minute for... A little brisky and tea time. Okay, you guys, I am back. Um, I had to change my shirt because I got a bunch of sweet and sour sauce all over it. So, uh, making sure my mic's on. And that's why my hair looks like this because I had to change my shirt. Whatever, I don't care. Okay, I'm gonna keep, whoa, sorry. Um, yeah, I didn't bother putting the food up. Um, I didn't eat too much, so I could have a few brewskis with you guys and some tea time. So I didn't want to eat too much, um, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to drink. And I had to refresh in my lipstick. <laughs> All right, so I'm definitely going to eat these leftovers later, but I just want to do this really quick, fast, with some brewski. Um, I'm going to keep this classy and not trashy, okay? Because I'm not like that. So for those of you who are still around watching this, um, some of you don't watch or look at my community tab. So there might be a lot of you out there going, what the hell is she talking about? What's going on? Well, please go to my community tab and then you'll know exactly what's going on. I'm not going to name names in this video. Um, most of you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to keep it on the DL of what I'm trying to say because this is my YouTube channel and I'm not going to um, name names. But if I want to do it in comments or if I want to do it on my community tab or on my social media, I will. I shall do so. However, in a video, I will not. So, 
Um, my sister-in-law, I have four of them. So if someone wants to come at me like, oh, you're talking about me or slander me or whatever, I have four sister-in-laws. So you don't know what, you don't know who the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, I was in my bed watching Disney. Okay. Minding my own business. I was just watching Disney pro or plus enjoying myself. My husband was enjoying himself playing his game with his son. Um, you know, when I was watching my favorite Disney movie, I think it was uh, Beauty and the Beast. My daughter was um, with her boyfriend out having lunch. You know, we're just normal family, having a good time, doing, relaxing, doing what we want to do. Then all of a sudden, um, my phone lights up and I get a drop down, right? Notification. And so I'm like, I don't want to be bothered. I'm watching my shows, okay? <laughs> so I was like, oh, what's this? So I grab my phone and look at it. And then I saw one of my subscribers, she had posted, or she left a comment on one of my videos. And she said, um, Sauce Queen, I just want to let you know that your sister-in-law is blasting you all over um, Instagram. And you know how you like when the drop down comes down, you can only read like, a, you know, a small portion and then it disappears. So you have to click on it to finish reading the rest. <clears throat> as soon as I said I saw um, your sister-in-law is blasting you because that's all I saw. I was like, what? I said, oh, hell no. So I paused my Disney movie and I sat up in the bed and I was like, what the hell did this person just say? So I opened it and yeah, she goes, just want to let you know that your sister-in-law is um, blasting you all over Instagram. And I was like, what? So I have four sister-in-laws. Two of them um, I claim, I love, I have no problem with. The other two are dirty bitches. Sorry, can't stand them. So... <clears throat> I was thinking about it for a minute and I'm like, is this just some, you know, some person from my past, you know, trying, trying to start shit or whatever, or is just some random, you know, person like trying to want to, you know, some random person on YouTube trying to just say crazy shit. So, so I commented back, I was like testing the waters. I'm like, um, I don't have a sister-in-law. <laughs> well, because two of them, I don't claim, I refuse to claim. And the one we're talking about now is one. I don't know if you're just not claiming her, but she really is your sister-in-law. But anyway, I just I just DM'd you on Instagram. Go look at it. Because I, I had said, well, I don't see anything on Instagram. Because I immediately went to Instagram. I'm like, I don't see anything. I get off my um, you know, YouTube and I go to my Instagram to my messages and I see sh she's there. So I click on the message and she had sent a screenshot of what she's been saying. Like, she, I, I think she sent two of them of what she's been saying about me. And I, I read it and I was like, oh my God, are you freaking kidding me? Instantly when I read that, I felt hot. Like my cheeks got hot. Like I felt like I was breaking a sweat, but I really wasn't. My heart started racing and I, I felt like the steam coming out of my ears. I felt just, you know what I mean? Like you're, oh, I was that pissed. I flew off that bed. My husband was on the couch. And I said, look at this. And I, I put the phone in front of his face and he's like, what? He takes his headphones off. I said, look at this, look, just look at this crap. And he looked at it and he read it. He goes, oh my God. So he got up, he, you know, he put his headphones back on. He told his um, friends he was playing with. Or I, th I don't think his son was on the on, um, line at, at this time. It was just two of his buddies. So he's like, hey, I'm going to have to call you. But I'm going to have to uh, pause and, and I'll get back to you guys. They're like, okay. So he put his, his headphones down. And I was like, oh my. I said, 
why? 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 Why is she doing this? I go, so I don't fucking know. And I'm sorry, there's going to be a lot of cussing in this. So if you're offended by that, you might not want to watch this part. He immediately gets up. And then all these people start um, DM, DMing me and sending um, screenshots. Or they, they left um, comments on my YouTube channel. Um, Sauce Queen, do you know so-and-so? Because she's going like, like she's slandering you right now on Instagram. And I was like, oh my God. So my husband immediately went out to the garage and he called his sister 65 times over and over and over. Ring, ring. She wouldn't answer and hang up. He would, uh, it would go ring, ring. She wouldn't answer. He'd push end, call back, end, call back. And 65 times, this bitch wouldn't answer. Gee, I wonder why. Oh my God. So, Um, he then called a, a couple other people and he was just screaming and yelling and, you know, she was saying the most awful, most horrific lies about me. It, it's not even funny. Like I was shocked and this video is not for her. I don't give a crap if she's watching or not. This video is for my followers. I do not want you guys to believe this rubbish, this outlandish insane crap about me i mean it's just i'm not gonna go like you know into a bunch of details i don't want this video really long but oh what the hell um oh she texts me and she goes she goes if you don't because she saw my community tab because she has spies on my channel mm-hmm and guess who the spies are? Her family members, because she has no friends. She's a nobody. Um, so one of her little spies went and told her uh, about my community tab. So she sent a screenshot to me, right? She texted it to me. And she had me blocked for so long. So when I got a text message from her, I was like, oh, wow. I thought, you know, I thought she blocked me. <clears throat> so she's like, she sent me the screenshot of my... <laughs> my you know community tab post she goes if you don't take this down right now i have i have all the messages i have screenshots i have proof everything she said is a, is, is a lie um the allegations against me that she's saying is a lie sorry this beer's getting to me i'm burping um it's just pathetic and i will be posting on my social media the proof of all this so I have receipts. I could have added them here in this video, but no, I'm gonna keep my, I'm gonna keep trash like that off my channel and my social media is, I will, I will definitely post whatever the fuck I wanna post on there. Uh, but as far as my YouTube, I'm gonna keep that off. So she goes, you have like, I don't know, what'd she say? Uh, you, you have five seconds to take that down or you're going to, um, what'd she say? Or all hell's going to break loose. That's what she said. I have the proof. And I said, I started laughing and I texted her back. I said, I can't remember. I think I said, what are you talking about or something? She goes, you take this down right now. I said, I'm sorry. I didn't start anything. You did. So she goes, that's it. You're, you're going to be sorry of this or something like that. I was like, whatever. Then she went right over to her Instagram and started. Oh, before that, she goes, all right, I'm going to start from day one. I'm going to tell everybody how you fucked your ex-husband's brother. I read that and I, w I literally, I literally was busting up lap. Like I couldn't breathe. First of all, honey, that's old news. I already have a story time of that freaking incident and how I did that and why I did that. So, 
Oh, wow, you got me. Oh, my God. Please don't tell them that. Please, I beg of you. I beg. Please don't do anything. I was so embarrassed right now. Don't. I'll do anything. Please don't tell them that. Please. <laughs> Bitch, I already did that story time. Everybody already knows. And then she goes, I'm going to tell everybody you were in a mental hospital or a mental ward or something like that. I already did a story time on that too. So next. Um, like, it was just insane. Oh, and another thing. Yeah. And then she went right to her Instagram. Oh, you guys want to know the real sauce queen? Oh, my God. You know, she fucked her, her ex-husband's uh, brother. And she was in a mental ward. And she does drugs. And she buys her drugs off the street. First of all, I'm... Oh, sorry, I keep shaking the camera. First of all, I'm a military spouse. If I were to do drugs, I would be risking my husband's career. I don't do drugs. I've never done drugs in my life. The only drug, if you want to call it, is weed pot. Oh my God, this bitch. <laughs> don't do drugs, sorry. Never have, never will. And then someone commented like, oh, well, I heard she used to do cocaine. Oh my God. I've never done drugs in my entire life. Honest to God truth. I, I took pills and I smoked weed back in the day. That's the only thing I'm guilty of. And I have 200 videos or something like that, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Somewhere around the 200 mark videos I have up. I'm pretty sure by now if I was a drug addict or if I did drugs, everybody would know it. You could tell. Give me a break. It's so ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Um, what else she said? Did she say? <laughs> she's just, she's going crazy. She's just going crazy. Um, oh, my God. Oh, how I locked my husband out of the hotel room that the, the military um, paid for. And I made him sleep in his truck. Yeah, that's a big fat lie. I would never kick my lock my husband out of a room and make him sleep in his truck. Sorry, it never happened. This woman, she never liked me from day one. Oh, and then she she so called uh, screenshotted a conversation that her and I had two years ago. Two years ago, and she posted it on her Instagram saying. Oh, me and Sauce Queen are fine now. Look what the message she just sent me. Bitch, did you show the dates on that text message? Because that was two years ago, you dumb asshole. Oh my God. It's... No, she didn't show the dates for a reason. But I have the dates and I can show you. So once all my followers started going to her Instagram... Oh, in my community tab, I announced, you know, would you guys please go over to her, her Instagram and support me and please believe that these are not, these are not the truth. They're lies. Someone commented and said, so someone commented on my Instagram post and said, oh, sauce queen. Wow. You're, you're asking all your followers to go to this woman's Instagram and attack her. Where the hell in that post do you see me say go attack her? If you would go to that post and read it, and if you have problem trouble problems reading, whatever, that's fine too. Will you please ask somebody to help you read it? Because it never says go attack her. And notice there's no edit on that post. What I said from the beginning is still there. What I said was... Please go over there and show support for me. That's it. How in the hell do you get, that's how I said go attack her. I would never tell anybody to attack anybody. That's not who I am. Sorry. Anyway, once a lot of my followers started going to her and letting her have it for slandering me, spreading outlandish lies about me, trying to 
defamation of character, trying to tear me down, trying to take down my channel, trying to ruin my husband's career. She literally said that she didn't care if his CEO saw any of this. Um, she, she, her brother is dead to her and, and has been for a long time. She was saying such disgusting, outrageous things about him. It's very sad. Um, <laughs> her own brother. Oh my God. So she couldn't take the heat, you guys. She couldn't take it. She was getting attacked left and right. And then my followers started going to her family's pages and social medias. So they started attacking her family as well. I didn't want anybody to attack anybody. I just said, go show support and, you know, don't believe this. But, you know, people are going to do what they're going to do. I can't stop them. So she started texting me. You better tell these people to stop. They're going to my mother's page. They're going to my family's page. You know, they're, they're saying this and saying that. I said, you started this. You started this. I didn't do anything, nor can I stop it. I'm sorry. The only one who can stop it is you, okay? I have no power over it. So... Uh, a lot of you are, I said, um, sorry, I can, I can do nothing about it. And then she goes, you're nothing but a fucking W-H-O-R-E and I can't stand you. And I said, I'm like, wow. And um, let's see. What else is there? <sighs> So she basically told me that she's not going to stop. She's not going to stop. And she's going to keep on trying to slander me, spread lies about me, all this stuff. And a lot of you are asking, why did she start this in the first place? This is not her first time, you guys. This is not her first rodeo. Me and her, excuse me, the beer. Oh, that's really gross. I'm so sorry. But I don't want to keep editing and cutting so you guys don't think I'm making it up or trying to, you know, concoct something or lie. So I'm going to leave my burps in it and I'm really sorry it's disgusting. But, um, yeah, from day one, <laughs> my hair, from day one, she has hated me. She does not like me. She never did. She um, pretended to in, in the beginning and that's why she has that um screenshot of that conversation that we had about the smoker she posts that on her instagram now she's going to her facebook and saying shit too so now she's doing it on both um we bought that smoker two years ago <laughs> me and my husband have been married for four years we've been together for five and she um, there was like five minutes, like, like just, j you know, just to say like five minutes here and there, we, we'd get along. Like she would actually be nice and like civil and like a decent human being. So I was like, oh, wow. You know, maybe me and her can really have a, a sister-in-law relationship. Great. Thank God. I've tried so hard to be friends with her, to have a relationship with her. She won't have it. She's so freaking jealous of me. She can't even breathe. It's not funny. And it's the truth. She is. Um, if I didn't have a social platform and I wasn't a YouTuber, I could care the fuck less. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. I don't give two fucks. I don't. Say what you want to say all day long. How many times you want to? I don't give a fuck. Go ahead. Call the Pope and tell him. Talk to Jesus and tell him. Go tell the neighbor down the street. Go have a court go have a little picnic at the park and, and like call people over. Hey, I'll give you uh, five dollars if you come sit down and listen to this. I don't give a shit. But because I am a YouTuber, I have a big social platform. Not huge, but big. It matters. It fucking matters. And I'm going to stand up for myself and defend myself because I want my followers to know 
none of this is true. It's slander. Um, and she's bashing me and, and she's fabricating. She's lying. She's making shit up. And I have a very important audience and I'm, I don't want to lose them. So <sighs> thank you so much. Most of you were like, we don't believe this crazy bitch. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Thank you. Thank you. And then a couple of you, which was really shocking. They were like, wow, we didn't know this about you. Oh my God. Well, I guess you weren't a true fan or follower or friend of mine to begin with. So that's fine. <clears throat> um, oh my God. It's just crazy. It's just nuts. And so my husband got on the phone with her and I haven't heard my husband yell like this scream from the top of his lungs like this in years my husband has severe ptsd um he's you know from being in the military 20 years the man is about to retire and who's fucking with his life who is upsetting him so much who is making him go on the verge of a breakdown his own sister if that's not shocking enough i don't know what is I really don't. It's beyond me. Oh my god. Some of the stuff that she was saying, bitch, I've already I already done that. I've already told on myself. I already have those story times. So you're not bringing anything new to the table. You're not telling anybody that loves me and follows me anything shocking. I tell on myself. I have 200 videos. Go back and watch them. <laughs> Jesus. And then the other shit was total lies. Total fucking ridiculous lies. Oh my God. So a lot of, you know, like a lot of you, well, why, why did she start this? What's going on? Well, apparently she's been doing it for a while. I had no clue. She blocked me on, on Instagram, on Facebook. Either I blocked her, she blocked me. I don't know, but we can't see each other's shit. So one girl said, well, Apparently she's been doing this for a long time because I like actually went back on her posts and stuff and you know she's been saying stuff about you for a while. I'm like, wow. And guess what? Um uh yeah, we've had two humongous falling outs since I've been married to my husband. Um She's, she just can't stand the thought that we're married. She wants to do everything in her power to make us divorce and for him to leave me. She can't stand me. She just, <laughs> she, she's trying everything she can and she has been for five years. But, oh God, excuse me. Well, honey, it's never going to happen. It hasn't happened in the last five years, and it's not going to happen. I'm, I'm sorry, it's not. My husband's ex-wife, she did this to them. She emailed my husband's ex-wife. She would text my husband's ex-wife. She would slander her. She would talk shit about her. She would spread rumors about her. She went up to my husband's ex-wife's job and caused a scene. She did everything she could. They finally divorced. I'm not saying that's the reason, but I'm pretty sure she had a big part in it. She's done this to my husband's ex-wife and him. She's trying to do this to me and my husband. And I'm pretty sure if me and my husband ever go our separate ways, which never will happen, we are totally, absolutely in love with each other. And that's not going to change. But if we did divorce, she'll do that to the next wife. She's fucking crazy and a psychopath. And I was so livid and enraged when I first was reading all of this. But now, I'm not even mad anymore. I just really, really feel sorry for her. She's such a miserable person that she has to make other people miserable with her. Misery loves company. So, she's a miserable, a miserable, <laughs> a miserable, <laughs> a miserable, 
she's a miserable person in her marriage. Trust me when I say that. I'm not going to go into detail about anything. She's miserable in her daily life. She has no friends. She's nobody on social media. She, um, she basically hates herself. And she cannot stand that I run a successful YouTube channel. She can't stand that I am successful on my social medias, that I actually have a lot of followers. I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of people who love me. It drives her pea green jealous, enraged jealous. And that's why she is starting all this shit. But what made her, she's been doing this for a while, people have told me, but what made her go the extra mile is when she thought I locked her brother out of the hotel room and she thought I made him sleep in the truck for three nights in a row when he was working 12 hour graveyard shift. <laughs> That's not what I said. That's not what I said. What I said was, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm TikTok on the brain. <laughs> Honey, why you don't have? Oh my gosh, she don't have a life. She has no friends. She's trying to be somebody. She's trying to uh, be known. Um, she loves the attention. She's hungry for it. Uh, oh God, excuse me. I fucking hate burping. I hate it with the passion. I love to do it when I'm by myself. I'll let it rip, but... Not on my YouTube channel, disgusting. I, I always cut it out. But I, want, I don't want to put too many cuts in this because I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm reading something or, you know, thinking of something. No. It's off the top of my head. Also, I haven't seen my husband cry, you guys. In... <laughs> Four years ago was the last time I saw my husband cry. And when this happened, he was crying. It broke my heart. When I see my husband cry or my dad cry, I start sobbing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. My brothers, my brothers too. The men in my life, if I see them cry, it just breaks me. I don't know what it is. I can see another bitch cry. I can, <laughs> you know, I can see another woman cry and I'm just like, Honey, come here. Let me come here. Come here. I'm so sorry. But when I see a man that I love in my life, whether it's family or my spouse, I, it just, I lose it. So when I saw him crying after he washed his hands of his sister because of what she's doing to us, oh my God, his face was so beet red. He had, he had red blotches all over his face. Um, his hands were shaking like this. I could see his heart beat through his t-shirt. You guys, I almost thought I had to call the paramedics because he was, he couldn't catch his breath. He was having a full blown panic attack because of the rumors and the lies that she's spreading about me and about him. He, he, he couldn't take it. So he just started weeping. He didn't have any expression on his face, but you can see tears one right after another just pour. oh i could cry just thinking about it right now <sighs> so i hugged him of course and i said it's it's babe it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay he's like why would she do this to me i haven't done anything to her you haven't done anything to her why is she doing this to us i said brennan i don't know that's your sister i don't know um So he, he told her, I never want to see you again. I never will see you again. I will be on my deathbed. And if you come up and in, in, in to the hospital, I will have you escorted out. I never want to have anything to do with you again. He washed his hands of her. That was, that was it. So, mm. <sighs> she, she also said that um, if I don't get my way, you guys saw my community tab. <laughs> Oh God. If I don't get my way, apparently, you guys, I threaten to beat myself up. Beat myself up. And then look all battered and bruised. And then uh, 
threatened to call his CEO and have him arrested and have him lose everything. <laughs> She's so nuts. Oh my God. People like her should not be able to function in society, in society without professional help. Um, she really needs to be locked up somewhere. I'm not even kidding you. She is a destroyer of lives. She is a liar. She's a pathological liar. She likes to, to destroy and kill relationships. Going back to the San Antonio thing. And some of you were like, wow, did you really make your husband sleep in the truck and lock him out? Oh my God. Um, back to the question where like people were like, why is she, there's, there's a reason why she's saying all this. You know, you, there's too much detail for it to be a lie. Mm -hmm. So out of the two and a half weeks that we were there, um, my husband had one day off one okay he was exhausted he was as soon as he would come home at six in the morning he worked from 10 at night to six in the morning <sighs> um so when he would get home at six in the morning which was basically six at night for him you know he played he brought his game <laughs> he brought his game system with him he loves it it's his peace it's his comfort and i have no problem with it I sit right next to him and I just get on my YouTube or, you know, I will, I will watch a movie or whatever, but I'm always by his side. So he, he brought his game to the hotel. He'd walk in, you know, um, sit down and start playing his game. And like 30 minutes later, he was out, passed out, exhausted. So this is how Miss So-and-so <laughs> start, like just went ballistic and started blasting me and lying about me and all this crap. You know what pushed her to do so? Because she thought I did this to her brother in San Antonio. And this is where this, stem, this stems from. So the one day my husband had off, he's like, oh my God, finally I have one day off. I said, I know. I said, I'm so happy you get to be here with me. I don't have to be alone because I was alone every single night. Very scary and lonely. Mm. Strangers were knocking on my door. Um, oh, it was just really, it was really creepy. And I don't like being alone. So he's like, well, I'm going to get fucked up. Let's get fucked up. And I was like, um, I don't think you should do that, babe. You're so tired. You're going to be passed out after like six beers. You're going to be out. He goes, oh, oh, no, I'm good. So he starts slamming him down, playing his game. And... We got into a petty, stupid argument. Like, it was so ridiculous. It was nothing to call home about. It was nothing to stop the press about. It was just a stupid, petty fight. I can't even remember exactly what it was. I think it was, um, I wanted to go to a certain place for my video coming up the next day um, to get one thing, like for, you know, for my video. And, you know, he was like, I don't want to go to just 10 different places for, you know, your videos, blah, blah, blah. I think it was something like that. And I was like, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Well, sometimes when, you know, you get into like the little stupidest fights, they escalate into something like ridiculous. Um, yeah, I think it was something like that. Something so dumb. But anyways, so after he was drinking and drinking and drinking, you know, we stayed on the fifth floor and we would go up and down, up and down. Um, because you know, he would, he, he, he smoked. Well, he still smokes. I smoke every now and then, um, but not very much. So we would go down, you know, to the fifth floor, have cigarette, come back up, finish drinking, blah, blah. But every time he went down, you know, he'd be like, come down with me. I'm like, I don't want to go down there. I don't want to smoke. So he goes, I'm going to go smoke a cigarette. I said, okay, go ahead. He goes, what, you're not coming? I said, no, I don't want to go. So he goes downstairs and leaves. I get up. I double bolt the door because when we first got there, my husband said to me, anytime I leave this room, I want you to double bolt the door. 
I don't trust people around here, you know, especially with this C thing going around. Um, you know, just keep it locked, double bolted. Anytime I walk out, I said, okay. I said, yeah, I already had that in my mind anyways. So, oh, excuse me. It doesn't stink. <laughs> it just smells like beer, but I'm just trying to stop from burping. So I get up and I double bolt it and I go sit back down. And he was already really like pretty drunk at this time. So he goes downstairs and he doesn't come back for, I would say about a good 30 minutes. So he finally comes back and I, I'm watching TV and I'm on my phone. So, you know, he has his key card, he slips in the door. I really, um, I couldn't hear it of course. And so he, he did that and it wouldn't open. So he tried to open it and he realized it was double bolted. So he's knocking on the door. He's like, hey, did you lock me out? And I said, what? Hold on. Turn it, uh, turn the TV down. I was getting up. I had the covers on me, pulled the covers off. I was getting up and I was walking to the door. I said, hold on. So I, you know, double unbolted it and I opened the door and he wasn't there. So I, I step out in the hallway and I'm like this and I see him to my left and he was walking down the hall. I said, hello. I said, where are you going? He goes, no, you locked me out. I said, what are you talking about? I, I just opened the door. What are you talking about? He goes, no, forget it. I'm going back downstairs to smoke a cigarette. I said, okay. Locked the door again, double bolted it, sat back down. I was like, oh God. This is how this night's gonna go. That's what I that's what I said. So this time, you guys, he was gone. Um going on an hour. So I'm like, what the hell? So I'm like, okay. I get up, I go downstairs, down the five flights, and I'm looking for him. I look for him where, you know, right outside the hotel door where we smoke. I go around to his truck, walked around it, didn't see him. The uh, truck wasn't on. The keys weren't in there. He wasn't sitting on the, his back tailgate. And I'm looking around and I'm like, what the hell? So I go, I go around the building at night. So scary. Couldn't find him. I finally go back up to the room and I'm calling him. Um, no answer. Absolutely no answer. So I, call, I think I called him six times in a row. No answer. So I'm like, okay, I guess I, I'll just sit here. I don't know what else to do. Another hour goes by. I call him again over and over, no answer. Then the next thing I know, I hear a knock a little, a little harder this time at the door. And I, this time I jump up and I'm like fast walking. And I said, is that you? And I, I open the door and he's standing there and he goes, thanks for locking me out twice. And he like walks, you know, through the house. He was so drunk, you guys, and exhausted. And I said, the house, <laughs> the hotel room. I said, I didn't lock you out. I said, where have you been? I shut the door, locked it, double bolted it because I knew we were going down for the night. And at night we both did that. We double bolted it because those maids would knock one time for one second, walk right in. They wouldn't even like wait for your response or nothing. So he walks in, he goes, yeah, you locked me out again. <laughs> I said, oh my God, I'm not even, I'm not in my head. I didn't say it out loud. I said, I'm not arguing with a drunk. I'm not. So he, he comes in and he, he like flops on the bed on his stomach. I'm not kidding you. In one point, one second, he started snoring. I was like, oh God, thank God. So, um, ended up going to bed the next day. Um, you know, he was sober and I said, we, you know, I said, are you okay? Like, are you good? He goes, yeah, I just got a headache. I said, what the, what the hell went on? You know, 
why would you, why are you saying I locked you out? He goes, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. I said, I never locked you out. I just, told, I just did what you told me to do. You do double bolt the door. That's it. Every time you leave. So I did. So it just so happens that, um, when he was down there for those two hours, once we got home and all that happened and you know his sister was blasting me on you know she locked him out and made him sleep in his truck three nights in a row after 12 hour shifts <laughs> my husband apparently when he was drunk during that time went down there for the two hours and got on the phone and started calling people mm -hmm. and in his drunk exhausted mind you know when you're drunk like your emotions are you know they're out of control they're elevated um you get angrier faster you get sad faster you know you're just your emotions get out of control basically when you're drunk so in his mind because i didn't open the door fast enough he, he thought i locked him out and then when he went down <laughs> to drink a few more beers and you know smoke a cigarette he realized how drunk he was and he was like oh shit so he crawls into the back of his truck passes out from the beer from being drunk from being exhausted he passed out he passed out in his truck for a whole hour and 30 minutes i think it was because he was on the phone for 30 minutes talking to somebody i'm not gonna name because i'm done with the drama i'm done with the shit but um the person he was talking to just told other people oh my god she locked him out she made him sleep in his truck after he works 12 hour days and he works the graveyard shift and that uh the military's paying for that hotel room anyways and she has a nerve to lock him out <sighs> so this is how this got started you guys so when his sister heard about this through the grapevine lies exaggerated not even true that's when she went ballistic that's when she was like this is the last straw and if i heard that my sister-in-law did that to my brother i'd i'd be fucking enraged too but i certainly wouldn't go fucking attacking somebody's character reputation or anything like that on social media you know what I would do? I'd call that bitch in two seconds and be like, did you fucking do this to my brother? Are you kidding me right now? Is it true or not? Did you do it or not? I would go directly to her and ask her to her face or on the phone. Certainly wouldn't go to social media. But hey, to each their own. That's what makes me better than her. Yes, I said better. I could never do that to somebody. Would never do that to somebody. So... She took what she heard and she ran with it and she exaggerated it. First of all, he never slept in his truck for three nights. He slept in his truck for an hour because he passed out from the beer. He didn't work 12 hour shifts. He worked eight hour shifts. Um, so the next day, my husband was so upset. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, I can't believe I acted that way, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, excuse me. It was no big deals or whatever. We got home. And then I saw that she was blasting all that, you know. And then, so when my husband went off on her, screaming and yelling, you know, and they hung up the phone, he started crying. I, and then I said, did you, did you tell, some, did you tell somebody, your sister or whoever you're talking to, that I locked you out and I made you sleep in your truck for three days? He goes, he goes, Kristen, he normally calls me honey or pumpkin, but he goes, Kristen, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even remember that conversation. I don't remember what I said. He's like, I probably did. I probably in my drunken mind and in my anger because I was so drunk and so exhausted, I probably, yeah, she locked me out. She's making me sleep in my truck. He goes, who knows what I said? I don't know. My husband got on the phone with her, you know, um, and said it wasn't true. I, 
he's like, I told my wife to double bolt that door. And in my drunken mind, I thought she was locking me out. And I passed out in my trunk, my truck. She didn't make me sleep there. <laughs> it's just outrageous. I'm probably rambling because, <laughs> you know, I just don't want, you know, people to believe this crap. It's just a load of crap. But like I said, I could bash her right now like you guys would not believe. I know so much about her and her life, her marriage, her relationship with her children. But I ain't saying shit. I ain't not gonna say shit. I won't say shit here and I won't say shit on my social media because I'm not like that. I would never do that to somebody. Do your worst to me. Don't, I mean, I care, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be on your same page or level and do that to you. I'm not gonna do it. So, okay. She's doing it to me and uh, yeah, she will stand before God for it. She will, but I'm not gonna do it to her, but trust me, I can. <laughs> you guys would really rip her a new asshole if you knew what I know about her, but I'm not not gonna do it like i said i'm keeping this classy not trashy so go ahead honey keep keep spreading your little lies keep making up crap about me you know uh whatever i'm over it i'm done it's it's just i'll admit the first day i i was i was i haven't been that mad probably in years i haven't been that mad when it comes to outsiders family members that's different <laughs> but outsiders no i have not been that mad in a long time see it i'm not gonna address this anymore i'm not gonna attack her in any kind of way i'm not gonna slander her i'm not gonna text her i'm not gonna have anything to do with her like i said this video was not for her it was for my lovely beautiful amazing friends and followers family everybody out there Anyways, my husband wanted to do this video with me. He really did, but he's not, he's not emotionally okay right now. He's very, very, very upset still. And just, he's just devastated that his own sister could do this to him. So anyway, yeah, but he wanted to tell me you thank you guys all for watching and um we all love you and stay safe bless wherever you're at in the world guys and uh yeah so i'm done with this fucking topic i will never bring it up again you know if uh, she she's gonna continue but that's fine i don't care just ask you guys, please don't believe it and, you know, ignore her. She seriously needs some help, professional help, really bad. All right, I'm going to go upload this extremely ridiculous long video now. I love you guys. I will see you on the next one. And now that I'm past the wave and I'm okay and I said my piece and I said what I had to say and I'm done with it. So now that all that is swept under the rug, I'll be back with more videos. Next time it'll be a funny one with story time. Because <laughs> this one wasn't really funny. But anyways, all right. Stay safe out there, you guys, and get something delicious to eat and to drink. All right, love you. Bye.